Good evening. You are welcome to this evening's prayer meeting. We are going to pray on the theme gathering the harvest by catching something. And our scripture is Luke chapter 5, verses 4 and 5. The Bible says, When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into the deep and let and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the nets. Amen. We want to begin our prayer by giving thanks to the Lord for his goodness towards us. The Lord has shown us mercy. The Bible says we should enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his cause with praise and we should express our thanks to God verbally. So I want you to thank the Lord for all the good things that he has done for you because whatever we thank God for is multiplied in our lives. So let's multiply and gather life, health, family, friends, business, employment. Begin to thank the Lord for all of these. Thank the Lord for ideas and opportunities Thank the Lord for help us. Thank the Lord that you believe that you have come before him knowing that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Just give the Lord thanks. Give the Lord thanks. Give the Lord thanks in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to give him thanks right now. Begin to give him thanks right now. Begin to give him thanks right now. Father, I thank you. I thank you that I am alive. I thank you for the gift of life that you have showered upon me, that I rose this morning with no effort, that I have gone in and out and found pasture. I thank you, O God, for health. I am grateful to you, Father, for my family. I give you thanks for blessing me with my sons and my daughters, for blessing me with my brothers and sisters, for blessing me with my parents and spouse. I am grateful, O God. I am grateful, Father. I just want to say thank you for the lovely family that you have given me. I want to give you thanks this evening, O God, for the friends that you bless me with, O God. I am grateful to you for my friends, O Lord. I thank you for those who care. I thank you for those who call. I thank you for those who give, O Lord. I am grateful and I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for caring enough to bless me with these friends. Your word says that a good friend is from the Lord. I thank you for the good friends you have given me, O God, to journey with me in life. I am grateful. Father, I thank you for my employment. I thank you for my business. I give you great I give you thanks, O God, for every client that we have in the business. I'm grateful. For every profit that we make in business, I'm grateful. For the paycheck that I can look forward to, I am grateful. I thank you, O Lord, for business. I thank you, O Lord, for employment. I give you thanks for new ideas on how to solve problems and how to do new things, how to do bigger things, how to do more. I thank you, Father, for those that help me to stay consistent, to stay true. I am grateful, O God. I'm grateful, O God. I give you thanks. I give you thanks. I give you thanks. This evening I have come with thanksgiving in my heart to just say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your mercy. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you, Father, for your kindness. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, of my own, I can do nothing. Of my own, I can do nothing. But by your grace and by your mercy, O Lord, I am able to do all that I have done today. I'm grateful, Lord, for every resource that you made available to me in people, in things, in assets, O God, in money. Every resource that you made available so that I could go in and out, that I could do what I desired to do. Father, I just want you to know that I'm grateful. I thank you for providing a home. I thank you for providing the food we eat and the clothes we wear. I thank you for providing the car we drive. I thank you, Father. If it was not for you on our side, O oh Lord, what would we do? But because of your mercy, because of your grace, because of your love, we are able to live. We are able to walk. We are able to talk. We are grateful, O oh Lord. We are grateful, O oh Lord. Everything we have is by your grace. Everything we have is a demonstration of your love. We are grateful, Father. We are grateful, Father. We are grateful, Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
So Jesus said to them in verse 5, but Sim the Bible says in Luke chapter 5, verse 5, but Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. Amen. We want to pray and ask the Lord to bring an end to toil in our lives because toil is not fruitful and we want fruitfulness. The Bible says in Genesis 3.18 that a curse was pronounced and the curse says that both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you and you shall eat the herb of the field. Amen. We want to pray that our field will not yield thorns and thistles. If we are toiling and getting nothing, then we are harvesting thorns and thistles according to this curse in Genesis 3.18. But the blood of Jesus has redeemed us from the curse. The blood of Jesus has redeemed us from the curse. So I want you to plead the blood of Jesus over the work of your hands, that it will yield a good reward. You will not toil for nothing in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus over the work of your hands. It will not bring thorns and thistles. It will not bring pain and disappointment. It will not bring frustration. Whatever you are working on, it brings good fruit. It brings good fruit. It brings good fruit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my Father and my God, we plead the blood of Jesus over the works of our hands, over everything we are doing, everything, every case that is operating where we are, geographically, economically, I neutralize it by the blood of Jesus. Every case that is manifesting in Accra, every case manifesting in Ghana, every case manifesting in Africa that is affecting the work that I do, oh God, uh, tonight I exonerate myself. I separate myself from it in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over my work. I plead the blood of Jesus over my hope. I plead the blood of Jesus over the church. I plead the blood of Jesus, oh God, uh, because the blood of Jesus, it cancels every curse. The blood of Jesus answers for every curse. So every curse that has affected me by reason of geography, every curse that has affected me by reason of the economy, I speak in the name of Jesus and I plead the blood of Jesus over where I am. I declare that where I operate from, uh, it will be Goshen. Uh, it might be in the midst of Egypt, but it will be Goshen. Uh, where Egypt is in darkness, I will have light. Uh, where the whole nation is unfruitful, I will be fruitful. Uh, where the whole nation is um, reaping thorns and thistles and debts and losses, uh, I will have profits in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Marakale Masunda Lamashindi. I neutralize every case by the blood of Jesus. I neutralize every economic case by the blood of Jesus. Every territorial case by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cancel the assignment of every spirit of toil that has been sent against me. Any spirit assigned by the devil uh, to make sure that I do not harvest to make sure that I do not reap uh, the fruit of my labor. I cancel your assignment in the name of Jesus. I declare right now in Jesus' name uh, that your mission fails. Uh, your mission fails. Uh, your mission fails. Uh, I live the blood of Jesus against the work of the devil. I live the blood of Jesus against every assigned spirit uh, that has come to torment me, that has come to interrupt my work, that has come to delay my harvest, that has come to prevent me from harvesting uh, where I am sowing, uh, that my work appears to be unfruitful. Uh, I plead the blood of Jesus. Uh, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Uh, and I release the blood of Jesus uh, against every assigned spirit from hell. Uh, I declare in the name of Jesus uh, that your assignment is cancelled. Your assignment is cancelled. Uh, and I command my business. I command my ministry. I command my family. Be fruitful in Jesus' name. Be fruitful in Jesus' name. By the application of the blood, bear fruit. Uh, by the application of the blood, uh, the curse is broken. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. Every hindrance against the fruitfulness of my ministry, I remove it by the blood of Jesus. Every hindrance against the fruitfulness of my business, I remove it by the blood of Jesus. Every hindrance against the fruitfulness of my family, 
I remove it by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus that because of the blood, we bear fruit. Because of the blood, we bear fruit. Because of the blood, we bear fruit. We bear fruit by the blood now. 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 By the blood of Jesus upon the business, I declare it fruitful. I put the blood of Jesus upon the ministry. I declare it fruitful. Zion Temple is fruitful. Voice of Zion is fruitful. Spirit on fire is fruitful. Every ministry attached to me is fruitful by the blood of Jesus upon it now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Maroka Lema Maria. I declare my family to be fruitful. Everyone in this family is fruitful. Every member of this household is fruitful. We will work and we will see good results. We will sow and we will reap a good harvest. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Our portion is not thorns and thistles. I declare in the name of Jesus. The result of our work will not be disappointment. The result of our investment will not be sorrow. The result of our work will not be pain. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We will work and the results will make us rejoice. In the name of Jesus. We will work and we'll be glad that we did. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Imota la barreca da bashunda, imera kelema sonda la marianda. In Jesus' name, amen. Peter said that we have toiled through the night. We want to pray and ask the Lord to divinely connect us to those who will help us to get a profit in life, who will help us to bring to yield, to have profitable lives in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that you will have people to toil with. You have people to work with. Uh, identify and terminate every loss causing relationship. Anyone in your life that is the source of losses, that is the cause of delay, that is the cause of retrogression and stagnation. Uh, may the Lord open your eyes that you will see them. May the Lord open your eyes and give you strength uh, to terminate relationships that are not beneficial, relationships that are bringing thoughts and thistles into your life, relationships that are bringing losses into your life, relationships that are causing delay, relationships that are causing you to move back instead of forward, relationships that are causing you to stay where you are instead of going forward. Marakale mashundala mama marianda. Pray, O oh Lord, pray, pray, pray that those relationships will be terminated. Those relationships will be terminated uh, as the Holy Spirit to intervene. Uh, and every relationship in your life that is not profitable, may the Spirit of God enable you to bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. Every relationship in my life uh, that is causing me to, to delay, O oh Holy Spirit, help me to bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. Every relationship in my life uh, that is causing me to move back instead of forward. Spirit of the Lord, help me to bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. Every relationship in my life that is causing me to stay in the same place instead of advancing. Spirit of the living God, I ask your help to bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. Every relationship in my life uh, that is causing my life to be unprofitable, that is causing my life to be unfruitful, that is causing my life to experience losses. Uh, I pray in the name of Jesus and I ask you, Holy Spirit, Spirit, help me to terminate that relationship in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by, by you, Holy Spirit. I receive new connections. I accept new connections. I accept new connections in the name of Jesus. Father, give me the people that will be revelators. Give me the people that will be accelerators. Give me the people that will be transformers in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. People that will help me to become who you want me to become. Let them be released into my life, oh God. Let them be released into my life, oh God. Uh, anybody I need uh, so that I will clearly understand uh, what it is you want me to do. So that I will clearly understand uh, how to do it. Uh, Father, let them come into my life. Connect me with them, oh God. Connect me with them, oh God. Connect me with those that will reveal. Connect me with those that will clarify. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Mera Kele Masunda, Imora Kele Masunda La Masindi, Imera Kela Masanda Le Marokotobaba, Imera Kela Masunda Le Marakatebaba, Imota La Barianda La Masindi, Imeta La Baroka da Bashindi, let the revealers come, let the accelerators come, let the transformers come, bring them in, O God, bring them in, O God. Bring them in, O oh God, that there will be a positive we. The negative we are we have terminated. Let the positive we come forth. Let the positive we come forth. Let the positive we come forth. In the name of Jesus. 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 Maroka de Basanda. Imera ke la masunda la machindi. Imora ke la masanda la masindi. Imeta la barianda la mashundi. Mora kadaba barianda. Mera kele mama mama masenda, imora kele mashunda la mama, imera kele masanda la baba, imota la barianda la mashindi, imeita la baroka la basenda. Father, those that will accelerate me by their resources, uh, those that will accelerate me because of their name, uh, those that will bring acceleration because of their money, those that will bring acceleration because of their reputation. Father, connect me to them, connect me to them, connect me to them, connect me to them in life, connect me to them in business. Connect me to them in ministry in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask for divine connections. I ask for divine connections to those that will bring acceleration in my life, O oh God. To those that will bring acceleration in my life, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We ask to be divinely connected uh, to those that will bring transformation. To those that we must become like, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every person whose experience and knowledge will enable me to fulfill my calling. Uh, Father, connect me to them in the name of Jesus. Connect me to them in the name of Jesus. I ask for a connection to the transformers. I ask for a connection to the revealers. I ask for a connection to the accelerators. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mera kelema sunda. Mora kelema sunda la marianda. Mera kelema sanda la masindi. Mora kadaba sanda la maroko. Mera kadaba sanda la marianda. Imora kela masanda le mama. Imera kela masunda le baba. Imera kela masunda le mama. Imora kala basheke le baba. Mora kataba baba barea. Father, we ask for new connections. Father, we ask for new connections. Father, we ask for new connections in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Divine new connections, O Lord. 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 Let them be released into our lives. Let them be released into our lives. Let us be connected to them, O God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mera kele masanda le mama, mora kele mashinde le mama, imota la barianda la baba, imeita la baroka la ba, imera kela masanda le mama, imora kela masanda le baba, imota la barianda la masindi, imeita la barianda la mashindi, imera kela masanda le maroko, imera kele masanda le maraka, imora kele mashunda la marianda. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, amen. We want to pray and put Jesus in charge. Peter said in verse 5, But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. So he had been letting down the net by his will. But now he's going to let down the nets by the will of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 127 verses 1 and 2, Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, 
the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. We want to pray and ask the Lord uh, to be in charge, ask the Lord to build your business, ask the Lord to build your ministry, ask the Lord to build your family, ask the Lord to build your career, unless the Lord builds it to be labor in vain, uh, it will be labor for thorns, uh, it will be labor for thistles, Put Jesus in charge right now. Put Jesus in charge right now. Sometimes we say he's in charge, but we won't let him do anything. We say he's in charge, but he's the last to, to be consulted. We say he's in charge, but we just bring him the problems after we have made a mess. We don't speak to him before we take an action. Begin to talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Ask him to show you how you can put him in charge of your business. Ask him to take control of your ministry. Ask him to take control of your family. Ask him to take control of your career. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my Father and my God, I come to you. Unless you build, I labor in vain. Unless you build, I labor in vain. So I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, please uh, build my business for me. Build this business for me. Build this ministry for me. Build this family for me. Build this profession for me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my Father, I ask you, my Father, I ask you, my Father, Father, I ask you, uh, because of the blood that was shed for me, uh, please build for me. Please build for me that I will have a house. Build for me that I will have a business. Build for me that I will have a ministry. Build for me that I will have a family. Build for me that I will have a career. Whatever I am doing by my own strength, I am doing it in vain. I want you to be the one doing it for me. I want you to take control, O oh Lord. I surrender to you. I surrender to you this business. I surrender to you this ministry. I surrender to you this family. I surrender I surrender to you, O oh God. I surrender to you, O oh God. I surrender to you, O oh God. Please build for me. Please build for me. Please build for me. I have tried to build, but your word says I labor in vain. Your word says that my anxious toil has not brought anything. My sleepless nights are not beneficial. I look to you, therefore, O oh Lord, saying that I thank you for the sleep that you give. I thank you for the sleep that you have portioned me. Uh, and whilst I'm sleeping, you are working. Whilst I'm sleeping, you are working. Whilst I'm sleeping, you are working. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord, that you are building my business even right now. Thank you that you are building my ministry even right now. Thank you that you are building this family right now. Thank you that you are developing a career for me even right now. Thank you that I don't have to be anxious. Thank you that I don't have to stay up. Thank you that I don't have to worry. Thank you that you are able. Thank you that you are in charge. In the name of Jesus, amen. Ask the Lord to give you a word so you know where to labor. Peter said, nevertheless, at your word, at your word, at your word, ask the Lord for a word for this week, ask the Lord for a word for this month, ask the Lord for a word, whatever word you need, so that you know where to cast your net, so that you know where to launch out. We pray in the name of Jesus. Father, speak to us concerning our businesses. Father, speak to us concerning our ministries. Our hearts are open, O Lord. Our ears are open, O Oh Lord, uh, we look to you. We look to you. Uh, we want a word from you uh, so we will know where to cast our net, uh, that we will not be toiling for nothing. Uh, at your word, we will get a catch. At your word, it will not be in vain. At your word, there will be good results. Uh, Father, give us your word regarding ministry. Give us your word regarding our families. Give us your word regarding our children. Give us your word regarding our business. Uh, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Speak, Lord, for your children children are listening. Speak, Lord, for your sons are listening. Speak, Lord, for your daughters are listening. Speak, O oh Lord, speak. Speak, my Father, speak. Speak now that we will hear you. Speak now that we can follow you. Speak, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Speak, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Speak, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask you to speak for us, Lord. We ask that you speak for us, Lord. We ask that you speak for us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Marakalema Marokotobaba. 
Marakali marakali baba merakili masonda merakili masanda morakili mashandali mama speak o lord and give us direction speak o lord and give us insight speak o lord and give us a rima speak o lord that we will know where to labor speak o lord that we know where to turn speak o lord that we will know where to invest speak o lord that we will know what to say speak o lord that we will have a, a strategy from you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus My my Lord and my God, we look to you. My Lord and my God, we look to you. My Lord and my God, we look to you. Speak for us, O Lord. Speak to us, O Lord. Speak for us, O Lord. Speak to us, O Lord. Speak for us, O Lord. Speak to us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Marakale Babaroko Toma Maria, Imera Kalama Senda, Mera Kelema Sonda La Machindi, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, unless the Lord watches over the city. The watchman stays awake, but in vain. We are watchmen over our families, but we need the Lord to watch over us. We want to ask the Lord to watch over our income, ask the Lord to watch over your savings, ask the Lord to watch over your investments in the name of Jesus. Because in spite of all the financial strategies, there are people and organizations greater and stronger and more influential than you. Therefore, Father, we hand over our money. We hand over our investments. We hand over our plans for the future into your hands, O Lord. Uh, unless you watch over it, uh, we will have nothing left. Uh, we will have nothing left to buy bread. Uh, we ask that you protect our income from losses, from losing value, from misapplication in the name of Jesus. We ask that you protect our income, O Lord, uh, from arbitrary taxes. We ask that you protect us from thieves. Uh, we ask that what we earn is protected uh, from unjust regulations of God uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to watch over our money. We ask you to watch over our money. The money that we are earning. The money that we have saved. Uh, the money that we have invested. Uh, we surrender all to your care. We ask that you watch over it for us, O oh Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to ask the Lord to lower our blood pressure as we declare that he is Lord of our finances. The Bible says that it is in vain that we eat the bread of anxious toil. The reason why we toil anxiously is for money. But we want to hand over all that anxiety. We will not be anxious anymore. And the reason we will not be anxious is because the Lord will assure our income. And the reason the Lord will assure our income is because we are in covenant with him. You want to remind the Lord of your offerings. Every offering that you have given to church, to pastors, because of his word. Uh, you want to ask the Lord to remember your offering. His word says in Philippians 4, 18 and 19. This was written after an offering had been given to Paul. He wrote and he said, Indeed, I have all and abound. I am full, having received from Epaphroditus the things you sent from the things sent from you, a sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Speak to the Lord about who you should give to so that he will supply all your need, uh, who you should invest in so that he will supply all your need. Uh, every ministry, Father, where should I sow? Who should I support? Who should I make sure that they have all they need, that they are bounded so that they will speak over us the blessing of supply, the blessing of supply according to your riches in glory. The Lord does not supply all our needs according to his riches in glory in vacuum. He supplies all our needs as we support ministries, as we support pastors, as we support apostles and prophets and teachers, oh God. So may the Lord speak to you. May the Lord show you where to sow. May the Lord show you who to support. May the Lord show you who to make sure that they are full and that they have received from your hand. Your hand. 
that they will have all and abound uh, by your gift, by your offering. Uh, let the Lord remember your offering, uh, that you have made sure somebody that is serving him uh, has all and abound. Uh, you have made sure that his people are, are full, and therefore... Uh, he is God, and he must supply your needs. Uh, he must supply your needs uh, according to his riches, not according to your offering. Uh, according to his riches, not according to your offering. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my God, supply all my need uh, according to your riches in glory, because I have supported your work, because I have supported your servants, uh, because I have supported my brothers and sisters in the faith. Uh, I ask you, O oh God, according to your word, you are not a man that you should lie. You are no respecter of persons. Even as I have given my offering, O Lord, even as I have given my offering, O Lord, I am asking today that you will supply all my need. You will supply all my need. You will supply all my need according to your riches in glory. Our needs for accommodation are met. Our needs for healing is met. Our need for promotion is met. Our need for money is met. Everything that we would have used the money for and more. Oh, let it be met. Let it be met. Let it be met according to your riches in glory. According to your riches in glory. According to your riches in glory. Father, remember my offering. Father, remember my offerings. Father, remember my offerings. Father, remember what I have given to your sons and to your daughters. Remember what I have given to your churches all around. Remember what I have given in your name, O oh God. Then Supply all my need uh, according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. You want to hand over any pending bills and any pending payments to the Lord because, uh, because you have a right to the provision of God as one who gives tithes. The Bible says in Malachi 3.10, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will be there will not be room enough to receive it. Oh, you want to pray and say to the Lord, I am a tither. And because I am a tither, the windows of heaven must open over my life. The windows of heaven must open over my life. You must pour out for me uh, such blessing that there will not be room enough to contain it. More than will be swallowed up by bills. More than will be swallowed up by payments. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord has promised uh, that because we have brought the tithes into his storehouse, uh, he will open the windows of heaven. Uh, we will have more than bills require. We will have more than payments require. Whatever it is that we have to pay. Whatever it is that we owe. After we have paid it, there must still be plenty left. The Bible says we will not have room enough to receive it. We will not have room enough to receive it. Father, remember my tithe. Father, remember my tithe. Father, remember my tithe. And even as you supplied my needs because of my offering, open the heavens over me because of my tithe. Pour me a blessing, O Lord, that I do not have enough room for. Pour me a blessing that will not be swallowed up by bills. Pour me a blessing uh, that will not be swallowed up by debt. Pour me a blessing uh, that will not be swallowed up by the things I need to pay for. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We want to hand over every debt to the Lord. Everything that we have to budget and schedule over how many ever years to pay, we bring it to the Lord because we are claiming today his promise of financial security. The word of the Lord says in Deuteronomy 15, 6, for the Lord your God will bless you just as he promised you. He sh you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. You shall reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. So today we want to pray and say, Father, your word says uh, that we will not be put in a situation where we have to borrow. So bless us, O Lord, according to your word. Bless us, O Lord, according to your word. The reason we will not borrow is because you will bless us. The reason we will not be subject to anyone is because you will bless us. 
be. You said we shall reign over many nations. You said we shall not borrow because you will bless us. You keep your word, Lord. You keep your word, Lord. You keep your word, Lord. So let this promise of financial security be real in our lives. Let it be our experience. Let it be our testimony in the name of Jesus. Uh, let us not be in a situation uh, where we have to borrow. Let us not be in a situation uh, where we have to sell uh, our birthright for food. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Marukalema Masenda, bless us, O oh Lord, just as you promised. Uh, bless us, O oh Lord, just as you promised. Uh, your word says uh, that all the promises of God, uh, they are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Uh, so according to the promises that you have made in the scriptures, uh, Father, we come to you uh, and we say, bless us as you promised us. Bless us as you promised us. Bless us as you promised us. Uh, make us people that lend to nations. Uh, make us people that do not borrow. When we are lending, we are lending enough uh, to sort nations out. Uh, not to sort families out. To sort nations out. In the name of Jesus, let incredible wealth be our portion. Let the kind of wealth uh, that belongs to nations uh, belong to us. Uh, so that we can lend, not to one nation, but to many nations. Not to one company, but to many companies. Not to one family, but to many families. Make us a financial solution of the world, oh God, because you have chosen to bless us just as you promised, just as you promised, just as you promised. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, I present to you every debt in this family. I present to you every debt that is threatening the ministry. I present every debt to you. And I say, Father, behold, uh, that there is a debt uh, and it is an error. Your word said uh, that you will bless me uh, and I will not borrow. Therefore, let this error be corrected uh, by your divine intervention, O God. Let this error be corrected by your divine intervention intervention. Every debt represented here. Oh, my father, I ask for the blessing uh, that will cancel the debt. Uh, I ask for the blessing uh, that will cause us to reign in life. I ask for the blessing uh, that will make us a lender to nations. Uh, let that blessing be released. Let that blessing be released. Let that blessing be released. Open the windows of heaven over our lives uh, because of our tithe. Uh, supply all our needs uh, because of our offerings. Uh, elevate us in finances because because we are in covenant in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in Luke chapter 5 verse 4, when he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. So when Jesus spoke, he added a promise. He didn't just say launch out into the deep. He said, when you do it, you will have a catch. So we should expect a catch from the Lord. In Luke 1 45, the Bible says, Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. There are many things that the Lord has told you in the past. The Bible says that because we believed past things, there will be a fulfillment in the future. You want to bring to the Lord the things that he has said to you and say, Father, I'm expecting a catch. Father, I'm expecting a fulfillment. There will be a fulfillment because I have believed you. And I know that I have believed you because I remember. If I didn't believe, I would have dismissed them from my mind. But so long as these words that you spoke to me are in my mind and in my spirit, so long as I'm meditating on them, Father, I look towards you for the fulfillment. I look towards you for the fulfillment. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Tell the Lord what he has told you. Tell the Lord what he has promised you. Tell the Lord about the revelation you received as you read his word. Tell the Lord about what is written in his word. Uh, what is written in his word concerning his children. Tell the Lord about the prophecy that he sent to you, uh, that you are still expecting the fulfillment, that you are still expecting the fulfillment. You are the blessed of the Lord. Uh, there will be a fulfillment of what was told you by the Lord. There will be a fulfillment of what God has told you. Yes, the word of the Lord will be fulfilled. Uh, it might have taken a while, but it will come to pass. 
In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that there be a fulfillment of every revelation. Let there be a fulfillment of every prophecy. Any word you have spoken that is tarrying, any word you have spoken and we have not yet seen it, any word that we, you have spoken and it looks like it's keeping longer. Father, we pray for a fulfillment of your word. Even as Anna prayed for the revelation of the Messiah, even as Simeon prayed, O oh God, we are praying today, bringing your prophecy to you. Even as Daniel prayed, reminding you of your prophecy. We are praying today, reminding you uh, that, Father, this is what you promised us. Father, this is what you said you would do for us. Father, this is where you said you would place us. Let there be a fulfillment of your word, O oh God. Let there be a fulfillment of your word, O oh God. Let there be a fulfillment of your word, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there shall be a performance of what you have said. There shall be a performance of what you have said. There shall be a performance of your word. Imeta la barianda la mashunda, imota la baroka la basindi, imera kela mosanda la mashindi, imera kela masunda la mashindi, mora kataba bareke, mera kataba basunda, mera kela masanda la mashindi, mera kela masunda la mashindi, imera kelema roka deba sandale mama, imera kelema sandale mashandale baba, imota la barianda la masindi, imera kelema sanda la mashindi, imera kan Kada basunda lima rokoto mama imera kada basenda lima rakati baba in the name of Jesus 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 mera kile masunda Father we believe your word Father we stand on your word Father we bring your word to you and we say Father. Perform your way to us. Perform your way to us. Perform your way to us. We ask for and receive uh, the promised healing. We ask for and receive uh, the promised breakthrough in our ministries. We ask for and receive uh, the promised breakthrough in business. We ask for and receive uh, the promised elevation of our seed. We ask for and receive uh, the promised establishment of our families. We ask for and receive it uh, according to your word, O oh God. According to your word, O oh God. According to your word, O oh God. We ask for and receive strength. In in our bones. We ask for and receive strength in our bodies. We ask for and receive vision. We ask for and receive clarity of purpose. We ask for and we receive it. You who promise that you will set us up. You who promise that we'll be city set on hills. You who promise that we'll be the salt of the earth. You who promise that we'll be the light of the world. You who promise that we'll be the lender to many. You who promise that we'll be the solution to the world. Father, fulfill your word. Father, fulfill your word. Father, fulfill your word. Father, fulfill your word. Let your word be our experience. Let your word be our experience. Let your word be our testimony. Let the fulfillment of your promise, O God, uh, let it come quickly. 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 We seek the fulfillment of your word. We seek the fulfillment of your word. We seek the fulfillment of your word in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 we want to thank the Lord. We want to thank the Lord. We want to thank the Lord. What he has promised he will do. What God cannot do does not exist. We want to declare that it is so. Whatever the Lord has promised you, whatever the Lord has promised you, begin to thank him for it. Whatever the Lord has promised you, begin to thank him for it. Let go of the anxiety. Let go of the fear. Let go of the worry. Just say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I have it. Thank you, Father, it is done. Thank you, Father, I receive it. I receive that house. I receive that land. I receive that spouse. I receive that son. I receive that daughter. I receive that visa. I receive the ticket. I receive it, Lord. I receive the money. I receive the healing. I receive the souls. I receive it. I receive it. I receive the promotion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you that it is done. 
It is done for me. It is done for every person on this call. What you have said, it is done. What you have promised, it is done. What you have shown us, it is done. What you have revealed to us, it is done. What you have helped us to understand, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. We thank you, O Lord, uh, that your word is yes and amen. We silence doubt. We silence the voice of the enemy. We separate ourselves from anxiety. We trust in you. We trust in you. We trust in you. Yes. Yes, oh Lord, in you we have trusted. We will never be put to shame. We will never be put to shame. Thank you, oh God. You are a dependable God. Thank you, oh God. You are trustworthy. Thank you, oh God. You are faithful. Thank you, oh God. Your word is true. Thank you, oh God. You are dependable. Thank you, oh God, for who you are. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Apart from receiving money from the Lord and ministries and businesses and children and all the physical things, we want to also pray that we will catch souls. Amen. Because Jesus said we should launch out. And then the Bible says in Luke chapter 5, verses 9 to 11, for he and all who were with him were as astonished, were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. So that is the representation of the wealth that they had received. They were astonished by that. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will catch men. So when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. Amen. Jesus gave them that major financial breakthrough to let them understand that they could depend on him, that he would take care of them if they left that business and did what he needed them to do. There is something that the Lord wants you to do for him, and that is to win souls. I want you to make a soul winning pledge to the Lord. Pledge to the Lord the time you will give for soul win winning, the money you will give for soul winning, the people you will train in how to win souls. Just begin to talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. The Bible says that from now on you will catch men. From now on you will catch men. Now is the time that the Lord wants you to bring people to him, to bring adults and young people to him, to bring males and females to him, to bring people from all walks of life to him. Talk to the Lord about the souls you will win. Pledge to the Lord the souls you will win. Pledge to the Lord the time you will give to evangelism. Pledge to the Lord the money you will give so that church will be a place that people will come and want to stay. A lot of the time, people come to our churches and the standard, the environment, they feel that is beneath their dignity and they don't come back. But that is on us. That is based on how much we are given. Speak to the Lord about who you can teach to win souls. Just begin to talk to the Lord right now. He said, from now on, you will catch men. Talk to him about how to do it. How to do it with time. How to do it with money. How to do it by modeling. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I agree. Yes, Lord, I agree that from now on I will catch men. I agree that from now on you will use me as an evangelist. I agree that from now on I will be the reason that people are born again. I will be the reason that people go out and win souls. I will be the reason that they know how. I thank you, Father, for using me. Father, I ask that you use my time to bring people to you. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, to manage my calendar such that there is a slot for soul winning. Let there be a slot for soul winning on the calendar of each and every one of us, of each and every one of us, the same way that we put a slot for everything else that we are doing. Help us to prioritize you, oh God. Help us to prioritize what is on your heart. Help us to prioritize the reason you came. You came to seek and to save the lost. So let it be on our agenda, oh God. Every week, every week, every week, let it be on our agenda to go out and seek and save the lost 
to go out and seek and save the lost and help us to commit money O oh lord uh, to the ministry O oh lord help us to commit money O oh lord to the ministry O oh lord help us to commit time O oh lord to training the younger ones to working with those who are afraid to go out uh, to working with those who are shy to go out uh, to speaking with them O oh lord uh, to helping them O oh lord uh, that they too will be able uh, to win souls for you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus father we surrender our skill and our experience you uh, said to bring up a generation uh, of soul winners uh, we surrender our money oh god uh, you said to build a church uh, that people will come into and stay we bring our time oh god uh, you said oh lord uh, you said oh lord uh, to bring the loss to you uh, you said oh lord to heal the sick to open blind eyes uh, in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus amen the bible says that they forsook all you want to make a pledge regarding what you will give up so that you will have the time and the resources to follow your calling there are things that god wants you to do for him but you haven't forsaken certain things so you can't do them for peter james and john they had to forsake fishing what do you have to forsake? What activity do you have to stop so that you can do what the Lord needs you to do? So that you can win souls, so that you can serve in church, so that you can be a good role model for Christianity. Begin to speak to the Lord. What must you give up so that you can go to your church meetings? What must you give up so that you can go to the department meetings? What must you give up so that you can go for evangelism? What must you give up to save the money necessary to drive there, to save the bus fare to get there, whatever it is? What must you give up? Peter, James, and John, they gave up their boats what is it that you must give up what activities must you give up what clubs must you give up what role are you playing that is an excess uh, that is actually a hindrance to what god wants you to do father open my eyes father open my eyes father open my eyes so that i will clear my diary so that there will be time to do what it is that you need me to do when you need me to do it that i will not be postponing you constantly because you do not postpone me constantly so open my eyes to what must be given up oh god open my eyes to what must be given up oh god soften my heart to give it up because i know that i'm giving it up to save the lost i'm giving it up to to feather your kingdom oh god in the name of jesus everything in my life that is simply clutter everything in my life that is a hindrance to your calling open my eyes oh lord 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 to see it oh lord in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Merakele masonda Mera kada bashonda, imera kada baba baseke, imora kada baba bashonda, imera kada baba basanda, imota la barianda la mashindi, imeta la baro kada basindi, imera kela masanda. I make a pledge, O oh Lord, to give up the clutter. I make a pledge, O oh Lord, to give up the clutter. That time and resources uh, will be released uh, so that I can follow you so that I can follow you, so that I can follow you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, the Bible said that they forsook all and followed him. What do we have to do so that we are following him? Where is the following? We might be around him, but are we following him? The Bible says in Matthew 25, 45, then he will answer them saying, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. If we are following Jesus, then there are people he needs us to do things for. You want to pray and ask the Lord to show you who you can love. Who can you love for him? There is someone that needs you to show, that he needs you to show affection to that he needs you to be interested in, that he needs you to care for. Speak to the Lord and say, Father, who can I love? 
Jesus, who can I love for your sake? Who can I love for your cause? Who can I love because you died for them? Show me who is need in need of love. Show me who is in need of love. Show me who is in need of love. Who is in need of a phone call? Who is in need of a text message? Who is in need of my greeting, Lord Jesus? Open my eyes to see it. Open my eyes to see it. I might not want to do it for them, but let me do it for you. I might not care too much about them, but I care about you. Help me to do it for you. Help me to show love for your sake. Help me to show love for those that you need to be loved, O oh Lord. For those that you need me to care for. For those that you need me to be interested in. For those that you need me to guide. Help me, O oh Lord. Who must we forgive? Because Jesus has forgiven them. Father, we ask you to show us someone doesn't deserve but needs us. Someone doesn't deserve but needs us. But Lord Jesus, we never deserved you, uh, but you came to us. So we want you to help us wherever we need to forgive, whoever we need to forgive. Uh, assuredly, you say to us, if, if we do not do it to the least deserving, we have not done it for you. So help us, O oh Lord, uh, to forgive those that must be forgiven. Uh, open our eyes, Lord. Uh, soften our hearts, Lord, uh, so that we will let go. So that we will let go. So that we will say, uh, although they don't deserve our forgiveness, although they don't deserve our love, because you deserve our love, because you have forgiven us, enable us, Lord, to do the same for your people. Help us to identify who we need to feed. Uh, there are people amongst us uh, that food Food is a challenge. Clothing is a challenge. Accommodation is a challenge. Whose body must we clothe? Whose mind must we feed? Whose soul must we feed? Father, open our eyes. Soften our hearts. Help us to know how to give food for you. So help us to know how to feed someone for your sake, to clothe someone for your sake, to educate someone for your sake. Help us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We want to follow you better. We want to follow your example. We want to follow your values. We want to live according to your will. Help us to love. Help us to forgive. Help us to feed in the name of Jesus. Father, you asked in Matthew 25 that I was sick, but you did not visit me. Father, there are people who are feeling lonely. Open our eyes to their loneliness. Open our eyes to their loneliness. Sometimes people have hide it so well and they act like they don't need anybody because we live in cultures that tell us that to need somebody is a sign of weakness. You must be independent, 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 but we are not designed for independence. We are designed for codependence. So Father, help us to know who needs a friend. Show us who needs a friend. Who should we visit for your sake? Who should we befriend for your sake? Who should we love for your sake? Who should we care about for your sake? Father, open our eyes to those uh, who are in need of emotional support. Open our eyes to those uh, who need a friend, O oh Lord. Those who can be, those who we can be friends to. Let us see, Lord. Let us understand, Lord. Let us appreciate, Lord, in the name of Jesus. There are people who need us to pray for them. There are people who need us to pray for them because their burdens are too much for them to carry alone. Uh, Father, help us. Help us to be prayer warriors. Help us to be intercessors for those that need prayer. It is good for us to pray for ourselves, uh, but help us to see the load of others. And as they speak to us about their trials, help us not to belittle their suffering, uh, but to rather pray with them. Make us people who will pray with others. Make us people who will always offer prayer. Make us people who will understand, who will listen and say, I love you, let us pray. Who will listen and say, I hear you, let us pray. Who will listen and say, I care about this thing, let us pray. Father, make us the people that lift the burden, that share the burden, that walk with people as they struggle on their journey, O oh Lord. Let us be helpers for your sake. In Jesus' name, amen.